What's up guys, Jared back, and this is the Lut TV Lut One X600, otherwise simply known as the Lut TV X600. And as far as I know, this is the world's first smartphone to feature the new USB-C port, which is just awesome. No more fumbling around with micro USB because it's reversible. Uh, it also includes what I believe to be a Sony Exmor RS 13 megapixel rear shooter with an f2.0 aperture and optical image stabilization. And yes, it's 4K video capable, but more on that in part two. Now the front sports a five megapixel camera with a nice wide 90 degree angle and just below that is an amazing 5.5 inch 1080p display made by Sharp. But I'll go into that further in just a minute. Now under the hood is a MediaTek 64 bit OctaCore Helio X10 which is a solid beast of a CPU. A Power VR G6200 which is also a beast of a GPU and three gigs of RAM. And powering all that is a 3000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. In my opinion, the design looks great. Although similar looking to a few other devices on the market, it feels great in the hand thanks to that alloy chassis. And although the back is glossy plastic, it's got this neat brushed metal look to it, which I think looks cool. Uh, we also have an IR blaster at the top with an extremely easy to set up remote control app. And at the very bottom is what appears to be dual mono speakers, but in actuality, it's on the right and the microphone is what's on the left. And by the way, the speaker quality on this sucker is awesome. Seriously, it's up there among the best single speaker phones on the market. It's rich in sound and can get really loud with very little to no distortion. Now getting back to the display, as I mentioned before, it's a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display made by Sharp with an 85% NTSC color gamut, which translates into one extremely color accurate display. Everything from the saturation and contrast right down to the gamut is almost completely bang on, and pictures and videos look awesome, especially games. So the software running on the X600 is Let TV's own EUI over top of Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's certainly something different. Uh, you're either gonna love it or hate it. Now in its own right, it does have visually appealing animations, but it's pretty heavily geared toward the Chinese media consumer with apps and launcher integration steering you towards watching content. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of it, so I changed over to Nova Launcher, which is what I'll use for the duration of this video. And accessing your toggles is a little different than what you're traditionally used to. Uh, so pulling down from the top accesses your notifications, but that's it other than a notification settings button. Now to get to your quick toggles, you just press the square capacitive button, which not only brings up your toggles, but also app shortcuts, music controls, uh, display brightness, and your recent tasks. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's possible. Navigating around the phone is actually quite pleasant. Uh, the settings menu is simplistic, and I love the scrolling inertia. Now, performance has been pretty solid, except Every now and then the software hangs, like when typing text, for example, but a simple reboot seems to always do the trick. Now, this is, however, LeTV's first attempt at making smartphones, and as such, I think just a little more optimization in the form of an over-the-air update is just what the doctor ordered, but 99% of the time, the performance has been awesome, and that Helio X10 CPU, along with the Power VR G6200 GPU, just powers through games without breaking a sweat. Uh, so far, I've experienced absolutely no stutters or frame drops, even when the phone starts heating up after a solid hour of playing GT Racing 2. Well, that's it for part one of this review, but be sure to click on the link in the description below for part two, where I cover the camera and battery performance. And I'll also have a link to Amazon where you can pick one of these up for yourself. If you liked the video, do me a favor and click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one if you haven't already. But Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.